Hello, it's Becca and Carrie <laughs> from Fire and Air Tarot. We decided we would do a little reading to go with the star this week. Um, so I chose a spread that um, was made by Rootlock Tarot, Weston at Rootlock Tarot from his book. Um, it's called the Tower Spread. Um, it's based on, like he has a couple spreads based on the tarot. So basically the first star is the devil. I'm mean, sorry. The first card is the devil. Where am I stuck in an unhealthy pattern? The second card is the tower. What needs to be cleared to break this pattern? And the third card is the star. How will I find openness and tranquility on the other side? And we're going to use the Light Sears deck today to do our reading. This is probably my favorite deck. Alrighty. So, I'm well, a subject. It doesn't matter. Do you want to be or do you want me to be? I can be? be the subject. That's fine. We could do it for both of us if you want. That's true. All right. Do you want to... I've shuffled. Would you like to break I the deck? I would like to do that. Thank you. Alrighty. So, the devil, the tower, and the star. And do you want to read reversals or do you want to read upright? Let's see how confusing the reverse is. <laughs> okay, so we do have a reversal of strength, which to me makes sense in the devil position. Mm -hmm. We have the page of swords. Okay. And we have the hanged man. All right. <clears throat> so the first one is, where am I stuck in an unhealthy pattern? All right, so like she said, we've got this strength in reverse. Mm -hmm. Where are we stuck in an unhealthy pattern? So for me, the reversal makes more sense than the upright here. That's true. Because usually strength upright is a pretty positive card mm -hmm. um, of, you know, having a lot of power. and. So and I would say strength. if there's a habit <clears throat> or an unhealthy pattern would be not. It could be doubting your strength. Right. Or like a lack of courage. Second guessing yourself maybe. Mm -hmm. Or undermining yourself in some way. Mm -hmm. Like you said, a lack of courage. Um, second guessing is something that I feel like is an unhealthy pattern for a lot of women, particularly in the world today and probably all the time. Yeah, and I would say <coughs> strength is a very feminine card. It's about a fem I think it's a feminine energy of strength. And actually, um, Rootlock Tarot just did an episode on strength. I don't think you've probably listened to it yet. No, I didn't know Thursday. that his and it's about was strength. out. Ooh. And he talks about, yeah, he's got two episodes out oh, for the third okay. season. Very exciting. So he talks about strength a lot and how about it's not that masculine idea of strength. It's that feminine idea of strength, which is what the card is, I, has always meant to me, like the very inward, calm, calm strength, exactly. not the forceful. So it could also mean mm -hmm. that maybe you're exerting too much force. Mm -hmm. Um you could be trying too hard or exerting more force than you need to or being more heavy-handed. So which one resonates most with you? I think probably a little bit of the second-guessing or lack of courage as in like I really, I'm in a period where I really want something to change. I don't know how or why or what but I haven't really embraced anything that my brain's come up with okay. in a way that's courageous because change is scary. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in a good position financially and socially or whatever mm -hmm. you want to, what have you, but like spiritually, I don't, I feel, I don't feel grounded at all. Mm. Okay. What a, what's the devil represented? The devil is what needs to be cleared to break this pattern. So we have Page of Swords. Oh, I love the Page of Swords. Well, I feel like we have talked about for you, though, how sometimes you're, like, too swordsy. Yeah. Like, maybe you're getting caught up in the logical, especially because mm -hmm. you said spiritually you feel a little out of whack. Like, maybe... You're so pinned into this logical box yeah, that's definitely that true. it's hard for you to maybe take a leap of faith or, mm -hmm. and like financially things are good. So that's kind of more of a logical thing. Like, why would I change something if right. logically all the puzzle pieces are fitting together, but the emotional side isn't coming through? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, Feeling like I want, I really want to embrace like what the tarot means and what a, 
and astrology I've been like looking into astrology I really want to believe it but like my sword's brain is like but where's the proof like where's the science behind it like I need right my sword's brain is definitely getting in the way I think of my spiritual well-being it could also be asking you like to like you're done with the page step like Mm -hmm. you've done your research now it's time to move into a more active card of the night position like maybe it's time to take it to the next level and so you need to clear away the page and know that you've done your research Mm -hmm. or you've done your studying and now it's time to take that motion or that action yeah and you know that actually ties it in with this reverse strength card and that I've been reading and reading and reading and reading and reading other people's astro like books and th- articles on astrology and tarot without having the courage to just read like or just do it myself okay you know so what I mean read the cards with that aspect or right or like I have I don't have the courage to like read for others or anything like that because I guess maybe it's about I need to move into the knight and the queen and formulating my own practice. Yeah. Yeah. And Interesting. Own understanding. Yes, it's built on what I've read about from other people, but it has to be it has to actually be grounded in your own personal understanding. Of it. And when we first started this project, I remember you said to me once that you are the more logical and studied person. Like you've definitely studied the cards, I feel like more than me, but that I'm more intuitive. So maybe mm-hmm. it's like now it's time for you to trust your intuition. Like right. you have the knowledge behind it. Now it's time for you to like really trust your intuition. And I think we talked about how that ties into you being a Leo. Mm-hmm. You're naturally kind of courageous and believing in yourself and out there and forward where like me as a Gemini I feel like I need to have all the facts and all the facts have to be right right and I feel great and very courageous when I know all the facts <laughs> believe me <laughs> but, but some things but aren't when as some things, yeah there are there aren't facts they're, they're yeah innately intuitive mm-hmm. so for the last one which is the star the star how will I find openness and tranquility on the other side And we have the Hanged Man. And for some reason, I feel like I've been getting the Hanged Man a lot Mm -hmm. for you lately. Yeah. Like, it's been coming up for you in Mm -hmm. particular. Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, in a recent reading. And I like this version of the Hanged Man because Mm -hmm. there's that flexibility there and there's that ability to, like, sit with something that might not be comfortable knowing that you're stretching yourself and, like, finding Mm -hmm. a new perspective. So maybe, like, you really aren't that comfortable with your intuition or, you know, Mm -hmm. the idea of astrology yet, but maybe you just need to, like, hang with it for a while and try something new and see, like, you're going to grow in that place. But, but, yeah, I'm trying to, like, I would like to try to get into some kind of practice of maybe journaling about a daily card draw or something like that, that that has that, like planned out like here's how you're gonna learn it thing but taps into my intuition somehow you know what I mean yeah. I feel like I need like a concrete plan like okay every day you pull a card and you journal about it or something mm-hmm. for my little swords poking me all over all the time <laughs> I don't know <laughs> yeah I mean I usually but. just try to like as soon as I see the card, like, what's the first thought to pop into my mind? And Mm -hmm. then, like, usually that's the one I go back to. Even if I think about different ways of thinking about it, it's usually Mm -hmm. that first one that resonates the most. Yeah. And, like, intuitively with the Hanged Man, I've always felt that it's very much a card about staying power and the ability to sit with uncomfortable things rather than a card of, like, you're stuck. You're stuck. Like, like, to me, it's always been, like, a card of, like, no, you're just in a new perspective and you're kind of just being asked to sit with something right now. So, mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, and I um, I have a tendency to always have s- some kind of media <laughs> on all the time. Mm. And I've talked to my therapist about this. Interesting. About how, like, I feel like if I'm not reading a book, I'm listening to a podcast. And even when I'm listening to music or a podcast, I'm also doing something else. It's <laughs> like I'm... I'm avoiding just letting my brain be Mm -hmm. because I have a lot of anxieties and like maybe that's something like I I feel perhaps intuitively that that because my therapist was like well maybe that's not a bad thing like it's getting you through the day or whatever like because what we've talked about some of these anxieties you have no control over there's nothing you can do about them so what's the point of dwelling on them 
but like intuitively I feel like I need like to sit in some silence sometimes. I agree. But it's a little bit scary. Mm -hmm. So maybe if you just started small, like even if it's just like literally a minute Mm -hmm. of just being silent and then maybe it's five minutes and then maybe it's 10 minutes and maybe it never goes past 10 minutes or maybe it does like, right. Yeah. And I don't, I don't feel like, Oh, I need to meditate. Like I not, I mean, it might turn into that, Mm -hmm. but like I, I'm not really looking at it. Yeah. As a meditation. But I guess that is meditation. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of in its purest form. Is Except for that I'm not quietness. trying to erase all the thoughts. I'm right. trying to actually listen to the thoughts. Right. Well, meditating really is about, I guess, accepting the thoughts for what they are. And then once you do that, you can let go of them. So, like, not yeah. trying to be like, this thought's bad. Why am I thinking? Mm-hmm. But, like, oh, hmm, yeah. This is the thought that came into my head. Let me consider it and then move on. So, not yeah. dwelling on it necessarily. Yeah. And I think meditation is another thing that, like, is scary to me like not scary but just like something that I feel like you have to do it right or Mm -hmm. something or maybe it's like too out there or something for me you know what I mean oh that's not for me like because I'm yeah just that's just not who I am but but yeah I don't know Yeah, I know I practice yoga very casually, um, but Carrie doesn't. Um, But one of the things we've talked about is sort of like, you know, there's so many ways of practicing yoga and people take it very seriously and it's a big part of their spirituality. But one thing I've learned in my practice of it from someone that I watch um, is that you can't do it wrong. So like just trusting that it's good for you. Like even if it doesn't like feel like it's helping just like trusting that taking the time itself is good for you and that it's okay that it's not some big like earth shattering right it doesn't have to be perfect you don't have to feel like you connected with the universe or anything like that you can just be like oh taking this time for myself is good for me Mm -hmm. and I think that can be applied to anything which is why I brought it up well yeah I would say this reading really resonates with what's going on with me for sure very cool now I've got some ideas. If you guys have any thoughts that you would like to add, please comment and let us yeah, know. Yeah, I would love We'd that. We'd love to hear from you. I feel like there's some interaction going on here. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs>